Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning a state called heaven. A state of mind called heaven. You see, most people think heaven is some geographical location somewhere in the sky. But heaven is within you. And hell is within you. For all is mine. You see, many people live all of their life being a borrower. And they do not realize that that is living in hell because they make a deal with the devil. And when I say the devil, they give someone power to rule over them when we all have the same power. And even the Bible says that the lender is given power over the borrower. <laughs> so, if you give others power over you, you're actually living in hell. Because, you see, when you live in hell, they say the devil is in control. The devil is speaking of your lower self. Your lower self is what will tell you that you cannot manifest things in your life. Because if you know that you can manifest things in your life, you know that everything starts from zero. And the zero is a circle. And the circle represents your non-physical self, your eternal self. Therefore, everything in the physical came out of the non-physical. So the bank, it was for a thought, it was for an idea, it was for us imagine. And then you live your life, life owing the bank and being a servant to the bank. That is you living in hell when you could actually live in heaven. Heaven is that high state of consciousness living in the higher mind in a higher self living in the place where you know all things are possible to you living in the place where you know that you are limitless you are not limited i'm 100 percent convinced that heaven is within so you can create heaven and earth but most people thinking that they have to leave earth to be in heaven. They believe that they have to die. To be in heaven. But you can live in heavenly places. In your Christ self. Once you discover your Christ self. And you realize that all things are possible to you. You realize that is the secret of the universe. Is based on energy vibration and frequency. And you realize that you vibrate on certain frequency. Based on your mentality. And you understand as a man thinketh. So is he. So you start to walk upon your thinking and you develop a heavenly way of thinking by first learning to love yourself and believe in yourself. That is why all the joy, the peace and the happiness is what describes heaven. Because heaven is a place of joy, peace and happiness. Which is telling you it's a feeling, it's a state of mind, it's a state of consciousness. Therefore, if you have a physical body, and you have a non-physical body. The non-physical body is a heaven itself. So heaven is a body. And all things are possible with that body. So you can create instantly. So the moment you have a desire. And you have the feeling that your desire is a fulfilled desire. A hard and objective fact. It is done because it's already here. So my brother and my sister, what is stopping you from living in, 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 in heaven is because most people believe that they have to die and go to heaven. Most people believe that God is a man in the sky when God is yourself, your higher self, your non-physical self, the part of you that do not sleep. The jima in you is God. So my brother and my sisters, what they do, they give us a, 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 a mindset of believing in some entity outside of ourselves, some entity in the, in the sky. And when you do that, you're rejecting the power that you have inside of you. So my brother, my sisters, it is your birthright to live in heaven. Heaven is not something or uh, some place you're going to go based on some merit or some works you have done. That's why they tell you it is unmerited. That is why they tell you, it, 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 it is um, unconditional love. Because when you love yourself, you have to love yourself unconditionally, which means you have to accept yourself as you are. And you have to know that you're born in this world in a state of amnesia, which is a state of forgetfulness. And that your subconscious mind was wide open for programming 
and whatever was said to you or taught to you by starting from your parents, your, your, your teachers in school, your political leaders, your, your, your religious ministers, what they tell you, you, you believe it and you end up and you, you conform. But no, you get a message that is saying that you have to be transformed by the renewing of your mind because you understand that the Bible is mental and it is psychological. And when you realize that everything is mental and everything is psychological, that is you understanding the false law that governs all of humanity and governs the universe. That's when you, you understand that the, this law is an immutable law, the law of mentalism. So people who are religious and superstitious and who are looking on the outside and believe that heaven is a geographical lo location and that hell is a ge geographical location, they fail to realize that all location is a place in mind. For example, religious people believe that there is a holy land. They believe, um, in, in, they believe um, that Israel is a literal place because they have a geographical place they call Israel. And that, no, that is something that they set up. And at a certain time they become a nation and call themselves a certain name. And they set up their religion. And, and there's two basically main religion that is controlling the world. And most melanated people trapped in these kind of religion. And they never find the true heaven within themselves. So in another religion, they, they tell you, you you move from Samsara to Nirvana. It's basically speaking the same thing, just in a different way. So all the different religions are actually leading you into the same place. And that same place is the place of self-discovery. So true salvation is actually self-realization. So I'm teaching you how to come into self-realization, how to know basically how powerful you are. How to know that in you is the kingdom of possibilities, which is the kingdom of heaven. And so you go within and you start to live the heavenly life because you go within and you accord your life whichever way you want to be through, through visualization. And you calm your mind down through meditation. And you speak your words and you know that incantations. And, and, and when you speak your words, you know also that they are spelled because you know that your word is your one. You know that you're a magician and heaven is you living in a magical place. And that magical place is a magical state of mind. So when people think about the different places that is written in the Bible, they fail to realize that there are places in mind. Because you see, everything has to first be a thought. It has to first be an idea. It has to first be imagined. For example, I'm sitting in this car right now. Okay, and my home is just, a, is just a place in mine. It's a geographical place in mine. So all geography is within you. All philosophy is within you. Everything is within you. It's a place in consciousness. So there are infinite states and you could fall into whatever state. So you want to fall into that state of living the heavenly life? It is yours to live. All you have to learn to do is rearrange your mind, shape your mentality, learn to think more positively and more optimistically, and shape your life whichever way you want it to be by tapping into the God frequency, which is tapping into the frequency of your higher self, your God self, your immortal self, because you have a physical body and a non-physical body. Tap into the non-physical body and accord your life whichever way you want it to be. That is why imagination is greater than knowledge. Use your imagination daily. So I can go on and on and on and on. But I think you, you get the idea that I'm trying to bring across to you. What it means to live in heaven. Don't wait until you die to live in heaven. All the people who want to go heaven. Look at them. 2020. How gullible they were to take the inoculation. Because they're living their life from a place of lack. They're living their life in hell. They've been They've been captured. And they, 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 they had no, no power over their own life because they give it to someone else. Okay? So, with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. 
And I will also encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina Mystery of the Virgin Birth. Also, I will encourage you to get Spiritual Recipe for Better Living, plus my many other books, like Meditate to Eradicate Poverty or to Turn Water into Wine, Your Mood is Your Fortune, and also the 66 Books of Magic, The Overcomer's Bible, whereby Jesus has been omitted and there's a blank space for you to write your name, which is I Am. You could never say I am for anyone else. You could never say I am and not referring to yourself. And that's the name of God from generation to generation. Also, if you'd like to become a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. And I have a course there for people donating 20 or more dollars. It's called the Innocent Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. So my last encouragement to you is to make sure that you check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So that being said, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.